hello don't i look like i'm about to tell you the six o'clock news <laughs> i promise this blazer is so cute so chic but you can't see that from here up and my grown grown woman hairstyle is not helping the look i look like i am supposed to be on the news hello hello it's your girl reese and today i'm reporting live from my living room welcome back to my space if you're new welcome <laughs> today we were talking about one of my faves one of my faves how to be a luxurious woman how to look expensive whatever you want to call it this is what we're doing today and we're starting off with number one with no surprise zero surprises here a winter white because if you've been here for a hundred years then you know i am obsessed with all whites so naturally number one is girl to look expensive you need to wear head to toe white a crew off white all of those things every single one so here i paired a white sweater with my mango palazzo pants that you all need girl i've been talking about it forever and a beautiful white coat which i got from h&m which is still sold out but i will link similar ones below and this is just immaculate honestly it gives the vibes that you're just you don't care like you are you're living life on the edge because you are a fabulous woman going outside to probably grab dinner probably order a red wine or a pasta with red sauce in all white because you don't care you're like invincible that's the vibes you're given in all white is you is invincible girl invincible red wine don't you dare tomato sauce absolutely not <laughs> i can't i can't anyways on to number two number two is a structured pico Honestly, there's so many different coats that are like cozy and like unstructured that I love. I absolutely love being wrapped up in those like unstructured coats. But there's something about a pico with the shoulder pads that just makes you look polished. It's just so perfect. And here I paired a very plain black look and I threw on my pico in, in the uh, plaid pattern and I threw it over my shoulder and it looks honestly like you're going from your taxi into your restaurant to grab a quick dinner this evening and it's just looks I'm not even gonna put my arms in it I'm just gonna throw it over my shoulders and be luxurious woman <laughs> don't I can't it's okay don't come for me for this whatever accent is coming out of my mouth right now whatever it is anyways it's just the structure the shoulder pads we love it absolutely need it absolutely expensive looking on to number three which is something i never ever ever in a million years thought i would be so pro so co-signing for because when i was young i was like that is an old lady thing my mom actually was always wearing brooches she was so obsessed with them the little ones with the glitter i mean the crystals and stuff i was like ma'am that's old lady stuff and here i am Two years ago, I bought the Loewe brooch that I'm obsessed with and I have, it's changed my life. And at the beginning, I was just wearing it on my peacoat, which is pictured here. Um, and I still wear it on my peacoat all the time. And it honestly just ups it. It makes it look luxe. Wow, I say that three times fast. It makes it look luxe. Uh, it's a plain peacoat that's a, like a beige peacoat, but you add the pin and it looks like, woo, okay, girl. But since then, I've experimented with my brooch and you can wear it on the blazer and this is the blazer i'm wearing my news anchor blazer <laughs> that's not news anchory um and i added the brooch to it and it takes a casual look and punches it up you can also wear your brooch on a beanie which i didn't do because i don't have the right beanie for it yet and you can put it on a scarf you can just sky's the limit with the brooch you can just put it you can put it on your bag girl you can do whatever you want with it and you know so i love a versatile piece and i love a versatile piece that punches up your look it doesn't have to be a designer one absolutely not like honestly the loewe symbol is a bunch of random ropes i don't know what it is like random sticks curved in different ways you don't need a designer one to look luxe. you can get any beautiful pin me personally i like it gold so get a gold one, but I also am not opposed to crystally ones. So girl, do it all. And if you want to be super luxurious, get yourself a Chanel one. I'm trying to, I'm looking for my first Chanel brooch. Anyways, on to the next, faux fur. What can I say about faux fur except for it is literally the most luxurious. And honestly, if you are into fur, then, then fur, but fur, faux fur, all of those things. It, 
it's just the vibes, the vibes. And faux fur for me, or fur for me, gives me that like old casino vibe or like you're going to a fight vibe. None of which I've attended in a fur. But every time I put on my fur, I feel like, oh, I'm about to go attend the fight, sit on the front row of the fight in my fur the entire time. And like, I wish I had the, the, faux, the fur hat too. Or I feel like I'm gonna go into the high rollers club in my fur. So right here, I'm wearing all black underneath, but I wore this dark brown faux fur and it's just so luxe. I honestly, is there, does there, does it need an explanation? It is just one of the most luxurious pieces you can have in your wardrobe. Really and truly is a fur. And at the, what I love about it is it comes in so many different price points and you can almost never go wrong. Like I personally don't think I can make a hot pink full fur look luxurious, but I'm sure there's people out there who can. So for me, I would say do neutral colors, colors that furs actually would come into if you're gonna do faux. And if you're gonna do real fur, then the colors that the furs come in. Um, I like the ones that look a little bit more soft, not gonna lie. Like there are definitely faux furs that look a little eh. Like it had better days. I would steer clear from those. Stick to the ones that look flexy, like this. Okay, on to the next. This is also something that I ever, never, ever, ever thought I would be co-signing and yeah, here I am, my old lady. Maybe it's because I'm in my 30s now. I love it so much, but a cape, a cape. This, a cape gives me Miranda Priestly in Devil Wears Prada vibes. You know, when she walks into um, her office every single day and she pulls off her jacket and, and bag and throws it on the desk. That's the vibe it gives me that, you know, a cape is just like, you're bundled up in it and you look extremely proper and elegant. And then you're just like ripping it off and throwing it off and ah, oh, I love it. You you love to see luxurious, luxurious. Oh my God, I need to stop saying that word. Anyways, um, yeah, it looks so good. I really, really, really want a Burberry um, cape one day. Hopefully it's in the cards for me sooner than later. Not the weird patchy one with your initials on it, but like probably a solid color or like maybe the plaid, we'll see, we'll see. But I just think it's so, uppity you know what and and you can get capes at all price points like this one's from banana republic it looks so good the fringe i wasn't sure about at the beginning but you know what? it's grown on me i i really like it and the color super neutral and you know like i said winter white and all the neutral colors like it looks good it looks good i look expensive i look like a bougie lady and we love it we love to see it all right last on my list is sunglasses but specifically darker frame sunglasses you guys know I love sunglasses. I wear sunglasses all year round. But in the fall winter, I think the darker frames, like frames and lenses, gives you that like mysterious vibe and just, I don't know what it is about that, but I think that's a little more luxe than like a colored frame, or a colored lens, in my opinion. Tell me, it, like if you think otherwise, let me know and, and show me how you guys style it. But for me personally, like I have all the super light lenses too, but I don't wear those as much in the winter and fall months as I do in the summer. So that's just me. And I think always sunglasses punch up your look. So always wear them, always, always wear sunglasses and protect your eyes, you know. We love versatile pieces that do does a lot. It does more than one thing. We love that. Anyways, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks. I hope you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys next video.